animated. Give me a half back. Get him the out of here. Unflappable. Hey, don't you start giving me any check your ass to be out. Irritable. What's going on? Spirited. Composed. For as long as there's been NFL football, there have been head coaches standing front and center and a need for a thesaurus to describe their sideline demeanors. Oh no! Every reaction, oh! facial expression, and gesticulation. All coaches are intense, passionate, and feel plenty of roiling in their stomachs. I almost popped a blood vessel. But outwardly, their demeanors run the gamut. Some ride the ups and downs on the emotional roller coaster every bit as much as a fan would. Yeah! No! While others give away very little. Next to I'd probably get uh, criticized for being unemotional. 12 men on the defense. It's third time tonight. It's going to drive Kevin Stefanski crazy. I don't want to ride the roller coaster. I want my players to see me engaged in the game, moving on to the next play. The roller coaster of a game, whether you're unemotional or emotional, you're going through it. You invest so much during the week. So when Sunday comes around, I'm really the team's biggest cheerleader. The emotion that I feel personally is jubilation because you know how much work went into that one play to be in that exact spot. And so you're just feeling overjoyed, very similar to the way you would feel if your kid rode his bike for the first time. You try to stay as calm as possible. Uh, certainly, it definitely gets pretty intense in the heat of the moment. Oh! There's times when it's really exciting. Yes! Yeah! Woohoo! And times where my mom would be embarrassed by what comes out of my mouth. He's fun to be with on the sideline because he wants to get hype with the boys, but I don't think he's of size to handle that. Lofts it over the middle, touchdown! In Indianapolis, I came off from getting a touchdown. He wanted to, you know, get hype, and I just shoulder checked him pretty hard and then shoved him again and then shoved him again. LaFleur loves that they scored, but if he gets too many more of those, he might find himself on the injured reserve list. Whose sideline demeanor first comes to mind for you? Hmm. It's an awesome question. I got a chance to play for Rex Ryan, so I watched a guy that you could always tell how he was feeling on the sideline. Yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, go, baby. I think of my brother. He's not in the NFL anymore, but you know, he was pretty animated. Take all the fun out of playing football. That was not a hole. I think Mike Tomlin's as good as there is in terms of his presence, uh, his swag, his charisma. Be cool. Chill everybody out. Loosen them up. Loosen it up. I go back to uh, Bill Cower. Let's play. I know you can hear me. His passion. I think players, players want to see that. They want to see the real you come out and the emotion of the game. But when the subject is sideline coaching demeanors, one name is mentioned more than all others. Bill Belichick. Coach Belichick. Bill Belichick. I like Coach Belichick. Belichick. I love Coach Belichick. He looks bored. <laughs> Which, yeah, when you win as much as he did, I guess it does get boring, right? <laughs> he's so steady, he's so consistent. It doesn't really look like he's going on the emotional roller coaster. It looks like he's just kind of staying in the middle ground. Looking left for the goal line to Gronkowski. Touchdown, Patriots! Takes the snap, bounces to the pocket, and as he throws left, touchdown, Rob Gronkowski! And New England increases its lead. It's almost like I'd imagine a golfer who just goes fairway green, fairway is boring. Go see the rest of the golf course. Go have some fun. Running up for the touchdown. Sonny Michelle, the first touchdown of Super Bowl 53. I want to be more like that. You know, I, I do want to be more like that. I definitely need to work on that part of my game. I think it's impressive to kind of keep that even even keel. At the same time, I also like seeing some of that emotion kind of come out. It's Higby going up at the pylon. Touchdown, 
Last year, scored a touchdown. Sean McVay comes running in the end zone, giving me a high five. Sean McVay is all the way in the end zone celebrating. Has to be pushed back by the officials. That's awesome being out there. It's pretty cool, you know, sharing that moment with him. Have you ever lost it? Yeah. I think there were some times that were definitely worthy of my composure being lost. That's not progress! 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 Are you kidding me? He's backing up! In that moment, you have a responsibility to your team. They do need to see your emotion. That's part of the head coach's job is to control his emotions enough to be there for his team, but also be into the game enough to allow his emotions to, uh, to add to the energy on the sideline. Seasons come and go. Coaches change teams. But the memories of the details that led to some emotional flare-ups never go away. At Cincinnati, we caused a fumble on the sideline, batted the ball back inbound before it went out, recovered it. Let's see if they rule out a fumble. Run it in for a touchdown. Six points for the good guys. Al Riveron then comes over to explain to me. The ruling on the field was that You don't get the touchdown. The not only do you not get the touchdown, you don't get the ball. While the ball was loose, there, there was, was an, an inadvertent, inadvertent whistle. whistle. Cincinnati gets to choose to take the result of the play from where the ball became loose or replay the down. Or replay the down. And it was on a third down. So we will replay third down. So, I mean, I got screwed three times on that particular play. Not that you remember it all. Not that I remember any any of the specific details. Hey, there is no past, there is no future. Oh, I'm calm as a cucumber, man. Just cool. I never get mad. Ask the officials. How can you call that? You're dying out there. Yeah, I mean, you try your best, but as you get a little bit older, you try to, you know, keep your poise a little bit. It's an emotional game. You're going to get upset. You're going to get happy. You're going to get disappointed. And the idea that you can hide all that is just not real. And I wouldn't want to. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> when we return... My headset could talk. Very volatile relationship. Shut up! Shut up!